What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Let's Play Diablo 3 with our hardcore Witch Doctor playthrough. We are now level 45 playing as Citra and we have just entered into heaven through Act 4, the Diamond Gates. And that was an absolutely amazing cutscene. Spoiler alert. You know, I don't want to necessarily, you know, um, you know, give in to all the spoilers if you didn't see the last episode. But what would happen with Adra and Leah, absolutely amazing. Gaze upon the destruction I have wrought. It will be the last thing you see. It's got to destroy the Nephilim. I do not fear you, Nephilim. You'll find only death in this eternal realm. Okay, kill Iskatu and his minions. Well, luckily we still have our zombie dogs and our gargantuan, as we tell from the top left on the screen. Achievement, massive blow. Let's kill him in one hit. If we can, that did not work as well as we planned. Ah, uh, you know why? It's because he had a cap. Basically, you can only do so much damage at once. We probably would have killed him with our W, uh, sacrifice, especially before the Master, using all of our zombie dogs to just explode somebody at once. Here we go. All of that damage, pretty broken. He's probably gonna jump away again, or not. We have some lore, and we are going to have to wait for our zombie dogs once again. The ancient texts describe the terror demons as unconquerable foes. The dreams of Diablo made flesh. They appear in shadow to torment their victims, and then in shadow they vanish. The mere sight of one drove a Herodron to madness, leaving him screaming and clawing at his eyes until the end of his days. I am Ethereal, Archangel of Fate. It is my duty to record what is and what will be within the scroll of fate. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. Then my destiny is unknown and can still be written. Write it with me or watch all of creation burn around you. Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Rakanoth, the Lord of Despair. I will find her, and hope will be restored to the heavens. Now, I do like having a lot of extra armor, but this rare mojo does a lot of extra damage because of all the intelligence. It's really only about... I, you know what, I lied. It's only about 20 intelligence more, but if I can somehow find a socket, I will definitely put that to good use. I'm gonna keep the armor for now, because I don't want to die, if I don't need to. Your guard up. There are foes at every turn. I have seen many warriors in my day, but only a scant few of them could face the might of an oppressor. This monster towers over the tallest barbarians and wields weapons crafted from hell-forged steel. They were last seen with Bale during his resurgence and left legions of dead men in their wake. So find the line for your faith in the gardens of hope. Though the subjugators have always been powerful demon sorcerers, they constantly sought to increase their standing in the bloodthirsty realms of hell. To this end, they imprisoned a score of massive Armadon, torturing and flaying them until the hell beasts would bear subjugators as riders. Together, the mount and its master are nearly invincible. We have so much lore. No one has seen an armored destroyer since Diablo was exiled from the burning hell centuries ago. For then, they were the bulk of his army, and they crawled, thick as locusts over the face of their master's realm. Should the Lord of Terror ever return, 
I fear they would be his heralds. They should have run when they had the chance. Not ready yet. Nine items crushed. Twelve items crushed. I think our movement speed is going to go way, way higher. And here we are. We have the Library of Fate. I'm guessing we just happen to have gone the right way. Because we could have gone up, and maybe all of these were closed. Let's continue to wander around real quick. We obviously have a frenzied shrine. It is likely that worse are yet to come. Into the Library of Fate and kill Rakanov. Probably gonna die in like one hit. <laughs> Good luck. So additional lore and angel vein. I hope we don't explode. Here we are. My armies flow through the hell rifts. Heaven will be destroyed long before you set one foot into the silver spire. It's the beginning. Rakanoth served Andariel, the Maiden of Anguish, with efficient brutality, for his touch may open up many painful wounds. He was also the Warden of Iswal during many long years that the Angel suffered in Rakanoth's own plains of despair. But he has quit his realm unexpectedly in recent times. Talk to Ariel and the Library of Fate. Thank you, Nephilim. I hope the Scroll of Fate was wrong, that Harmony would once again fill this troubled realm. I see now that all hope lies in you. You are bound by the chains of fate no longer. With my blessing, you can now dispel Diablo's corruption. It hides the rifts which bring his cursed servants to this hallowed place. The rifts must be closed. It would be an honor, my lady. Diablo nearly brought ruin to the heavens as despair bled into the angels' hearts. But now I have restored hope and rallied them. Tyrion is still lost in the devastation. Now alone, I must go to destroy Diablo's hell portals. Now that mask we just got isn't necessarily good at all. Um, so I don't think we're gonna really use it. Okay, now this pathway is opened up. I'm guessing all of these areas are now opened up. Your evil undoes you. Need more time. Some more overgrowth. Some mazes. Before we go north, I want to head east. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be a whole nother wing. Let's actually... I lied. Let's go north, because I don't want to go ahead and explore that area yet. I don't have to. I love these graphics. Like, uh, all these backgrounds make it feel so immersive and beautiful. Trying to get some movement speed if we can. I strike at your heart. I was I was wondering why they would make it go up here, but it's obviously all the graphics. Very beautiful. All the gargoyles in the background. Or better yet, maybe they're oppressors. I like how everything's exploding and the environment is changing as we continue on by. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was uh, an important angel. Fallen, broken. He knows the truth now. 
now, I will be victorious. Well, we've got growth everywhere you can imagine. Upon these gardens, now they seed with the corruption of hell. So we have the uh, destroy the rift oculus and the other rift. I I could, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather explore more. Um, I'll do that in just a second. What is this thing? Is it anything exciting? Doesn't look like it. Your spirit be free, warrior of the heavens. And here we are, the light of hope. Wow. Very different atmosphere. The Angelus Council is comprised of the five archangels who hold dominion over the high heavens. They determine the laws by which all angels must abide. Each of them embodies a pure aspect of creation. Balance, justice, hope, faith, and wisdom. Fight some of these. Well, we surprisingly didn't have any zombie dogs, so <laughs> we could have killed those in one hit, but I just summoned them right away. Topaz. I don't mind if I do. And actually, you to destroy the rift Oculus. My fiends will tear you apart. Well done, Nephilim. Diablo's vile minions can no longer use this rift to find their way into the Silver City. Now only one rift remains. All right. Well, it looks like we've done uh, some very good work here. And we now have a much better offhand. The flow of my legions will not stop. Let's check down here real quick. See if there's anything cool. Just some money. And a weapon rack. In Curious, the Archangel of Valor is the greatest warrior in all of creation. He revels in war and combat, and has led the hosts of heaven to innumerable victories. With Malthael's absence, it is Imperius who now rules over the Angiris Council, seeking always to defend the High Heavens from any foe. Okay, Gardens of Hope, second tier. Find and destroy the corrupt growths to reveal the hidden hell rip portal. Now there should only be one left, so it's not a uh, singular. Excuse me, it's not plural, it is singular. Much more of the same. Well, we did find a boss. A very powerful one at that. Hopefully we don't die. And wow, quite a bit of items. And coin. Reusable parts, I will certainly use those. There's no shortage of foes up here. Diablo works quickly. We will be ready for them. Now, I think we have about 10 seconds until we can get our zombie dogs back. I do think that's one of the most uh, biggest downfalls of this build. 45 second zombie call, cool, uh, excuse me, zombie uh, dog cooldown. And obviously, I, I do like the wall of the death, but I feel like it would be a lot better if that cooldown wasn't as high either. I draw closer to victory, Nephilim. You are too late, just as you always have been. Again. 
And we are almost at the end of the stream. Nomadic Burial Mask of Corrosion. Acid Cloud, not what we want though. Obviously the intelligence is much better. We have another Sledge. He's gonna die, no problem. The hell rifts are closed. You have far exceeded my expectations, Nephilim. But there is not a moment to waste. Quickly, you must make your way to the Silver Spire. Well, so far, the so good. The hell are closed, but it is of no matter. Soon there will be nothing left of these high heavens. All creation will be the realm of terror. I wonder, can we kill all of these in one hit? Yes, we can. We've got three of them at once. I would like to go ahead and sell all my items, but I haven't necessarily seen any type of, like, vendor or merchant. Maybe we'll find that soon enough. <laughs> Enemies everywhere. The more lure will once men great warriors of old, but each of them had dogs of his soul. And Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, used this flaw to trick them into his service. Mephisto's fury slowly burned away their mortal forms, leaving them fiery apparitions who know no pain. Fear or doubt. This seems pretty broken. Game life each time Spear Barrage hits. Uh, poison damage in an area, mass confusion, paranoia. All enemies in the area deal reduced damage. That doesn't make sense. Oh, I, I believe. Yep, so basically what'll happen is we'll confuse uh, an enemy and he'll take less damage, which is not bad. Hungry Bats, release two bats that seek each out, uh, engulfs it in flames. Throw a jar with paralyzing spiders that attack nearby enemies and have a chance to slow with every attack. I do like that. And Horrify, gain armor after casting Horrify. That's actually not bad. Uh, but it's definitely not what we need. We have a brand new... We have the ability to gather another zombie dog. And you know what? I think we are actually going to go ahead and grab that and put away the spirit vessel. Because, don't get me wrong, I do like the safety net, but we are going to be able to do so much more damage with the zombie dog, having five instead of four. I saw an item, but I can't click it now. Oh, Radiant Chapel. Need more time. 13 items crushed. Unfortunately, we don't have our zombie dogs anymore, though. Look how fast we move. I like this. Don't need that, though. Another weapon rack. We are definitely uh, gonna have to sell our items very soon. Resplendent chest. Let's grab our zombie dogs first. What is happening? Malpheus the Abhorrent. Can we kill you all in one hit? Yes, we can. I want this resplendent chest. Okay, find the portal and the crystal... Colonnade. Nothing of real value. At all. Okay, so making our way back. Obviously, we found a chest that's been very useful and very awesome. Okay, and all we gotta do is make our way up here. Uh, I wonder. Some more corrupt growth. Well, I guess we are going to go ahead and put a cut in this episode. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you all have an awesome day, and I will see you in our next adventure.